Hey there, it's me Rehana and I'm back with another project and this time we're creating robot made art using block code, our creativity, a whole lot of pencils and markers and of course the smarty bot. The first thing we're going to be doing is going on the Esprino web ID and switching to block code. And you might have noticed the smarty bot extension which we're going to be using for this project. And what we want to do is we want to define each direction for the robot. So we're going to go ahead and press on functions and drag this first block over here. We're going to define the forward direction first, so we're going to be renaming this to forward. And I'm going to be taking this block over here and drag it inside. We need two. One for motor M1 and the second one for motor M2. And I'm going to be setting this to a speed of 0 0.6. And I'm going to be setting motor M2 to a speed of negative 0.6. And the reason for that is that when we use two motors, we place them opposite each other like this, but still wire them the same way up. So in code, we have to reverse the commands. And once that's set up, I'm going to check the functions tab again. And look at that. The forward function is right there. And we're going to be doing the same thing for left, right, and stop. And I'm going to be doing the same thing for left. And I'm going to be setting both motors to a speed of 0.55. And lastly, I'm going to be defining what it means to stop. And I'm going to be doing that by setting both motors to a speed of zero. So now that we've defined all our directions, we can go ahead and code our first shape. And a very easy one to start off with is a square. So we're going to define the square. And to make a square, we want to go forward first for about 0.4 seconds and then we want to make a left turn so we're going to drag this in here and you want the left turn to be around 0.35 seconds we found these values to correspond to very nice sharp turns but you can go ahead and play around with those values as well so we want to repeat the forward and left sequence a couple of more times and then stop. So that's it, we've coded our first shape. But now we have to upload the code in such a way that the robot executes the commands when we press one of these buttons on the side of the SmartyBot, A or B. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the SmartyBot tab again and drag this one over here. Button one stands for button A on the SmartyBot. So we're just gonna leave that as it is. And I'm going to drag the square function over here. I'm also going to add a delay for one second. So it will wait for one second before it executes the square command. And that's it. We're going to upload it to the smarty bot now. So I'm going to switch it on. And I'm going to connect it over web Bluetooth. Once that's connected, I'm going to press upload and save the whole lot here. So by using the same method, you can get super creative and create your own drawings and patterns and shapes. We made some other shape like steps, Tetris Z and T-shape, 